G'day everybody, welcome to Liana James Live and we're talking all things hair. Um, for those that have not joined us or will be joining us for the first time, welcome. Uh, what we're all about is talking all different things, hairdressing. And uh, today I'm going to show you our finished products of our Nova Fusion range. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but what I'm going to talk to you through at, at the start is going to be about a whole different bunch of Nova Fusions. Um, anyone that's got blonde hair, uh, this is the show for you. But a little bit about our show and what we're all about. And um, we talk all things hair, like I said. Uh, in some of our previous uh, episodes, we talked about how to save your money and not wash your and your color and not wash your hair too much. Uh, we also talked about um, uh, prescriptive solutions. We've talked about why we use De Lorenzo, why we use Behave, why we use sustainable salons as our resource recovery organization mm -hmm. and the fact that um, uh, they're, they're, they're an awesome organization to be part of and that makes us a sustainable salon as well. So go back and look at all those if you want to see it. But moving forward, we're also going to do things like uh, myth busting. So, you know, some sem please send me through some of the myths that you've heard over the many years that you've either you know spoken to family, friends, whatever it is. Um, because I'd like to bust those myths. Maybe some of them are true, who knows? But send them through, I'll have an episode on that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. There'll be a very exciting episode where we talk about my hair, or lack thereof, um, but all the different hair do's that I have. So that should be a lot of fun as well. So please stay on board with me and enjoy tonight's episode. It's gonna be about Nova Fusion again, and today's purely, I'm gonna show you uh, our blonde range, and then I'm gonna show you the red range that we finished off and how it's impacted the hair. So, uh, much like we did last week, I've got a bit of a different setup this time. So here we go, we've got our three uh, color shampoos here. One's a silver shampoo, um, and you'll see the color of that one. One's an illuminate, for those that need to look at it on there, and this one's gray. For anyone that has gray or wants to start going gray, this is the one for you. So I'll show you the intensity of, of these because it is quite amazing. So those that really want to get rid of those yellow, orangey type colors in their hair, their blonde, this is an amazing product for you. There's that, and we've got the Illuminate, also does the same thing, a bit more intense. Uh, you can see just how dark that is there. Uh, it's a little bit more intense, uh, a little bit more of uh, a color uh, you know, change, especially on blonde hair. And last but not least, it's pretty blue this one, is the gray. Now you'll notice that the gray is probably the lightest out of all three, and it has the least amount of impact on the hair. What we also uh, have today, and I'm gonna show you, uh, is, I'm gonna show you some rosewood, just here, and some beige. And we're going to paint them on. So, uh, so very important. I'm painting these on, and I leave them on for about 10 minutes or so before I rinse them. So the ones that you see that are the orange and red and all that sort of color, they're on for about 10 minutes painted on. Very important to know, painted on. Um, and I'm also going to do it. Someone said to me the other day, what you should do is show someone's discolored hair, and then what happens when you use some of these afterwards so what i'm going to try to do either get somebody in that i can do that on or at least get some hair that's sort of faded you know like an auburn color got it done at the hair really at the hairdresser really nice then it just sort of fades after a little while what this what these products can do for you so um where we are here i'll make sure i paint the right ones because otherwise that would be a bit silly um <clears throat> so the first one's going to be silver okay now again, I'll show you this, just so you can see the color. And you'll notice that it's not quite um, purple and it's not quite blue, all right? And that what, that's what makes this product such an amazing product because it actually does help with all the different tones that you'll see in a blonde, okay? So all the different tones that you'll see in a blonde, you'll, you'll uh, be able to counter, counteract with this. Now, it's pretty deadly, so the lighter you are, the worse it will be for you. Okay, so very important that you consider that when making your decision on which one to use because if you don't want something that's gonna to totally change your hair color, um, then uh, maybe one of these might not be for you 
because it could go a bit, little bit too blue. And if you're too light, you can also grab really quickly. Uh, but you come and see us and we'll tell you which is the right one. Now this one here is the Illuminate. You'll see how intense this one is. Okay, it almost matches the same color as the, as the brush. Bit more violet base, much better on the yellow tones out there, I think. Um, but very deadly for the hair and you'll see that how much this gets picked up in the actual hair strand itself. Now again, I'm painting it on. I'm painting on quite thick. You can shampoo these ones on for just a little bit of lift. I'm trying to show everybody just how intense and what value for money you get from using the De Lorenzo Nova Fusion range. Okay, so this one here is the grey one. Okay, lightest of them all. Uh, it has the least amount of impact on the hair, obviously. Uh, it's, it's still fantastic, and for those that have grey hair, I, I definitely recommend it to them because you can achieve an absolutely amazing product uh, outcome, I should say, using this product. It is pretty phenomenal, and you can see just the different shades of all three of these, um, but also the intensity of it. Um, you'll be able to see as I come across. I'm going to chuck this one over here and out of the way, and I'll let you all see the intensity there on the hair. It's quite illuminating, a bit like a little one in the middle. Now, again, rosewood and beige. Rosewood first. I'll show you again. That's the color of it, okay? But don't be scared if you're a blonde, okay? Because a lot of people think that rosewood means red. Um, and yes, you can get a tinge of red coming through the color, but it's not gonna go completely red. Uh, one of the basis of rosewood, in fact, the, the predominant color in rosewood is actually violet. Anyone that's got yellow hair, um, the best counteracting tool for that is violet, actually. Uh, not your blues and whatever else. Blue's great for orange, okay? Um, violet's really good for that. What this does, and it's a secret I've told, someone uh, more experienced than I am told me about it, um, but what it does is it actually, if you like a real creamy color, rosewood is what you should be toning with, okay? Creamy colors um, need to have a little bit of warmth coming through it. Now the secondary tone in the um, backup for the rosewood, in De Lorenzo anyway, is actually red, okay? So red and a bit of violet creates that real nice creamy um, color coming through. Most creams that people look at aren't white. Um, when they're talking about cream for, you, for themselves, they're usually thinking cream like what you would see, you know, in the uh, Pura aisle of, in the dairy aisle at, um, at the supermarket. And if you think about it, creams don't have just plain white. They're really not that plain white. They've got that little bit of warmth coming through it. Don't go putting yellow into it because that's exactly what you're trying to counteract. But a tinge of red with a combination of violet can give you an amazing outcome. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take you through our reds. So last week, and I've put an example, I mean, you've already seen the color, but that was the color that we started with, okay? And then what you have here, and let me just get this 100% correct, uh, what you have here is your claret. Pretty amazing that the color on the paper is so close to the color on the hair. Remember, this is just 10 minutes, just 10 minutes on the hair and rinsed out. There's your burgundy. Anyone that has a burgundy uh, type of red in their hair, that's what they can go with. Uh, and you've got your cherry red over here, really nice color, I think. Oh, I'm, I should go to the right area. Uh, cherry red over here, really nice color in my opinion. Remember, that's what we started with. That's what it's come out with, just shampoo. That's not coloring hair, remember that, not coloring hair. Then we've got here our, one second, fire red, pretty awesome. But let me show you now the real intense, whoop, the real intense colors. So. We have here all of our different Nova Fusion ranges in the reds. So if I can start, I'll start with the copper, just up here in this corner. This one here is not the intense copper because it's right next to it, as you can see. That's the one there. So anyone that's got that really rich carrot hair, boom, that's the one for you. But look at the intensity of this one, phenomenal. And if you even look at the reds, so this one's intense ruby red, Love this color, absolutely stunning color. And then we have our intense red over here, if I can show you that. 
Again, love that color. If you have those intense colors, these are the things that you need to get for yourself to make sure that those colors stay in that great condition and keep on being vibrant out in the, in the marketplace. Like I said last time, around 30 odd dollars, you can get yourself one of these last little bomb. What we also do is mix them together. So if someone, um, uh, mulberry, we've created our own mulberry color. It's not in the, the Lorenzo color chart book. It's just something that we've done and created in the background. But for people to maintain it, because let's be honest, some of those intense colors don't last the distance. Um, we make we make a mulberry shampoo for people as well that want to go down that path. Um, these sort of colors come in and out of you know, fashion. So you know, that's just the way it is. Um, <clears throat> so my final part of this evening is actually going to be what's hot and what's not as usual and we're going to go onto our screen here this is what happens when uh, intense colors go wrong uh, right there is not a good example if we put one of our intense nova fusions on that we could get it to come good oh this one just uh, i don't know what people were thinking here mate to be honest uh, i love my intense colors but yes uh, big thumbs down for me. I've got a few bad ones. Here's a Belgium supporter, I think. Uh, although they'd have to lie down to sort of show the flag there. Um, again, big thumbs down for me. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking. That band, whoo, unbelievable. Looks like a belt. Um, this is just, I don't know what happened here. Uh, I, then maybe they went to try to go that like turquoise color. Massive fail. Sorry if anyone is looking at the hair and thinking, yeah, that was me. I apologize, I'm just being honest. Uh, again, uh, just didn't quite work out the way the person wanted it to, I guess. And these are some of the great ones. Look at that color. You know, I mean, not everyone's gonna go for this and you can do this as a feature. You don't have to do this as a one color all over like this lady has. You can just do it as one punchy, piece that comes out from one side or the back of your head, whatever works for you. I get, this color is awesome. I, I mean, I, I'm gonna do a purple special because we've got violet, intense violet, plum, and a few of the others. Um, so, you know, just so you can see all that, I might even throw in the Nova Semi in that one, although I'm gonna do a whole special on Nova, Nova Semi as well. And that color is pretty hot. Here is an example of something that you should, should not do. Um, if you're looking for intense colors, um, that's just not something that you should be doing in my view. Um, this one's stunning, you know, and very close to our intense copper, uh, if you, if you think about it, uh, she also looks a little bit like one of our clients. I have to say it's not our work. Uh, it's Rose Tone Housewife, about the Rose Tone Housewife, apparently that is, um, stunning color, brilliant, love it. Uh, purple, nurple, absolutely. Our red, I think our intense ruby red is something that matches this particular one. Stunning, hard to maintain, very important that you use some good home hair care there. And last but not least, um, this is an absolute stunning. This is almost a mixture of copper and red. You know, you'll see there that that copper is popping through, but when you look at it from afar, you can see reds and all these nice, deep, warm tones in that hair color. Stunning stuff. So I hope you enjoyed everything that we've covered here on uh, Instagram Live. I will show you the end products of, of these. So we've got our Rosewood Beige Silver Illuminate Gray. So for those that haven't seen the products before, probably should turn this the right way so people can read it and see it. Now remember, you can go online if you're thinking you want to try any of these, especially during lockdown, jump online www.ljhair.com.au and you can order one of these. If you need some advice on what you should order, maybe it's for your missus even, um, hit me up with a direct message and I'll be happy to help out. Enjoy, we'll see you tomorrow night. I'll show you my outcomes and we might touch on the purple Nova Fusion range. That's a lot of fun. Be good, everyone. Stay safe.